know how that go in the tone hit my phone bitch i get her then they gone leave me home yeah said leave me long yeah i'm from the tone yeah I'm from Texas where we crack them seals Double cup, keep that shit trill Don't owe nobody, no bills, man Fuck it, that's just how I feel Stay true and I kept it real Now everybody talking deals Hot like I just popped a pill But I didn't it, I'm smoking kill Fuck with me, yo blood get spilled He gon' squeal, we came to drill Family need to eat for real So I'm out here just chasing meals If you broke, how the fuck you feel? Need to get up and stop being chill Real talk, I'm just giving chills To the people that ain't got no skills I'ma do this shit for real Homies Jack you and Jill Keep a chopper in the field Where you fuck around and get killed All my peoples really do this It's our mission we pursuing Beat the beat up I'm bruising Cruising and I'm never losing Feeling like I might just lose it I abuse it I just sit back writing music I just hope this shit's amusing This my story that I'm using Lot of pain God choosing I hope I don't die from shootings It takes this we got them toolies Man, you know how that go in the tone. Hit my phone, bitch. I get them, then they gone. Leave me alone, yeah. I'm on my own, yeah. How that go in the tone. Hit my phone, bitch. I get them, then they gone. Leave me alone, yeah. I'm on my own, yeah. Said, leave me alone, yeah. I'm from the tone, yeah. Hey, what's Gucci with y'all though, man? Let's get it. So that's the new music I dropped right now. Um, well, if, as y'all seen this on a Monday, uh, how's everybody's Monday? Hope everybody's doing good. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped two music audios yesterday, and then yesterday before I dropped another one. Um, I had to re-upload that. Well, I had I really had to have to do both. I had to, but. One of the audios already got 21,000 views, so I'm like, I can't delete that. They already fuck with it. Even though it's not the perfect quality that I recorded, it's because the dumb app I used for the slideshow, it made it staticky somehow. So I had to go on another app. So let me let me explain to you how I do this. I go down to the Gmail, download the audio, then I go to the Play Store and I download an app to transfer the audio to slideshows. But then I got to get all the screenshots or whatever, the pictures from my gallery to make a slideshow. Then from there, I go to another app that creates the music with the slideshow. And that's what I did. But then I had to go to another app to take that music audio off and put a whole new music audio, which could only be done on a certain app that I posted today. So that's why y'all see all this stupid shit. It goes a long way, you know what I'm saying? And um, I could only imagine how much more views it would have gotten with the original sound, you know, but like y'all fuck with it either way, and I respect that. So thank y'all for everything. Um, you know, music video is on the way. It is coming. A music video is coming after my court date. Like after I, I settle with this court stuff, that's when the music video is coming out. It's gonna be the first day out type of music video, you know. But as y'all can see in the title, you know, I don't wanna procrastinate on this subject. So a lot of people are getting robbed out here. A lot of people getting set up, home invasions, all that stuff. And I'm one of them, you know, like, honestly, like, they tried to do me like that. So I just want to explain to y'all, you know, what to do in situations like this, you know. And a lot of people already know what to do. A lot of people have firearms and stuff, but you could still get killed. And you could still get set up with the firearm. Just because you have a firearm doesn't mean that you're protected 100%. It just gives you a better chance, a better percentage of living as far as what's going down, you know. You know, you know what I mean, guys. So basically what I'm trying to come at is I'm trying to explain to y'all like I'm trying to make sure all my subscribers and all my peoples are safe out there, you know, as far as when they're doing their own business and, you know, stuff like that, it's rough. So let's just say like some let's just give some examples real quick, you know. So like I got I got family members that own their own business and I'm talking about they made over a million dollars in this business. No hype. Over a million dollars. And you're probably like, bro, if they like that, how come you're like this? Or how come, you know, you struggled all your life if they had that business? 
Well, their business didn't really start popping until the iPhones and all that stuff started coming out. And that's when they started to share their business online. Also in the streets. And it started in the streets. So when they hit online, it was just like way more business, you know. But um, basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say is they have a business. They get robbed still to this day. They get robbed. They get finessed. They get underbidded all that stuff you know and it's just hard for them to run the business and try to be successful when it's not really a hundred percent deal that you're gonna be successful so what you're trying to do is you're always aiming for that hundred percent so let's say you have a doubt in your mind you want to be able to get rid of that doubt in your mind before you have this goal in your head because if you have doubts of this goal you're not gonna get that goal as as fast or as good as you're gonna get it with having the right mindset for um, that goal so basically my family my cousins they they own this business we don't get no money out of it nobody does just them who's running the business and who works there right so me I didn't get no type of ends on that money or nothing so what I had to do is I had to do this all on my own so did my family, you know, we did not get no shares of somebody else's business and it just doesn't work that way. So basically, they get robbed sometimes. Like sometimes there'll be a person who jacks a washer or a dryer or something like that. And it sucks because it's not really like it's going to hold them down. It's just something that doesn't have to have to ha have to have to happen. Damn, it's something that doesn't have to happen. And things that don't have to happen is very good because you could be slowed down, but it won't stop you, but you could be slowed down. But you don't want that. You don't want that. Now, me, like, people people that try to rob me, I already know how the scene goes. Like, I had a dream yesterday about some random shit, like somebody tried to rob me and shit, but, like, of course, I know how to play my cards smart, so it's just, like... I have to learn my own lessons, which slowed me down, you know, and for y'all to learn that lesson is, is rough, you know, and you, a lot of people won't listen to me right now in this video. A lot of people won't sit down and listen to every word that I'm saying right now because they're ignorant and they haven't been through this experience themselves. So when they do have that experience themselves, that's when they change the whole story around and they're like, damn, I understand now, you know, like. You don't get it until it happens to you. But I'm trying to make that not happen to you. Listen to my words and take that shit into consideration. Because honestly, everybody that I that told me otherwise, I didn't listen until it happened to me. And that's how y'all are. I know that's how y'all are. Because that's how I was. And I just didn't listen to nobody, yada, yada, boom, and it happens to me. Now I learned my lesson by myself when they were already trying to tell me about that. So now I'm looking like a dummy because guess what? Fool you once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Some shit like that. But anyway, you all get the deal when they say that. So they were telling me that a lot of people warning me like, hey, you can't be too comfortable out here. Yada, yada. I'm like, true, true. Boom. Bro, I was comfy as hell. You know, I just, I, I don't know. I was trusting too much and... I stopped that a while back and then I restarted it for some reason like it was just seeming like San Antonio was becoming a better place. But no, that shit turned tables like the 50% of me turning, you know, into a better person as far as trusting more people. 50% of that just went down the drain. Now it's 100% don't trust nobody. Like what the hell? Because like San Antonio, like we were good at first. When I got out of jail, everything seemed really chill. But I guess it's because I was not a subject. I was not an option. I was not a... A mark. I was not a, a goal to somebody, you know, until I got out and I started being successful again. And that's when I became a subject, I guess. That's when I became a mark. Um, you know what I mean, guys? So I hit the radar and that's when things got ugly. I'm talking about real ugly. They try to kick down my door. They try to rob me for my money. All this stuff, you know, I got set up. All that stuff. This all this summer. And it's crazy how all this stuff happens after a certain thing happens. But it's okay, though, because I understand as a person 
that I learned my lesson from everything that happened to me in life. Like, I learned not to do that. So, let's say you did this one mistake. You get to know not to do that again. And if you do it again, that's shame on you because you knew. You knew what happened last time. And guess what? It happened again. That's your dumbass fault. That's your fault. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm trying to say is you can have a gun, you can have this and that, but you have to play the right cards to be smart with it. You always still have a 50% chance of dying or living when even if you have a gun. Even if you don't have a gun, you still have a 50% chance of dying and living. So do your statistics add up equally? They, it, You might not think it does, but equally, like statistically, without a gun and with a gun, you have the same amount of living experience like you will not nothing changes you with a gun or without a gun because it's all depending on you and how you use that gun and how you're gonna play your card smart i will tell y'all how to shoot and all that stuff and like be successful as far as a shooter and stuff but that's not who i am that's not where i'm coming from and that's not what i'm here to teach what i'm here to teach y'all today is how to be safe when you're doing transactions i i was coming home from jail from a cab and he said that some dude went into his house said he was going to get the money came back out and i mean he didn't come back out he didn't have the money they called the police they gave him a ticket and the ticket was like 500 bucks or something you know like way more than what he had to pay so anyway um the cab was telling me like I don't know what to do like he made sure I had the money and I said bro you didn't even add my mileage why am I gonna give you this amount of money he told me this situation I said you know what here take it I'm trying to go home I'm tired of this jail shit just take me home you know what I'm saying I don't even care boom go home yada yada I only drove like three miles bro I gave him like 30 bucks so I'm like bro I know that's not enough like I know I got at least you know some money back from that he's like no no no, no. yada yada he didn't even put the timer in the thing so I couldn't even tell how much it was. So it was just like, it was all messed up. But I know how much miles it was. We just went down three exits. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but anyway. <clears throat> so basically he was safe because he got the money first. That's a, always a good tactic. Always get the money first. That way you have nothing to rob. Like always make sure the money's good and make sure it's all there. Make sure it's real. Everything. That way they have nothing to rob at the end of the day. So... A lot of people will be like, can I see your ID before you buy something as far as gun-wise or anything expensive as far as gold and jewelry. So, what people want to do is ask them for their ID. That way, if they try to rob them or anything, they have their ID, which could identify them to the police or anything like that, right? Well, when you don't have ID and you rob somebody, they don't have a clear identification of you. Correct, right? So... When you're dealing with somebody that's doing a transaction with money, you have that one-on-one -on -one face, you know, you have that person's face, you know who he is, you know what you're doing, you know. That's a good thing, boom, you know who it is, that's all you gotta do, that's all you gotta do. Now, if you don't know who it is, there's a whole different tactic to go by this. What you wanna do is self-defense, and when you're a self-defender, you gotta give it all, you gotta give it your all. You got a clip on you, empty that whole freaking clip. But make sure you see, like, in Texas at least, our, our weapons laws and stuff is kind of weird. Like, we have to make sure that our life is in danger. So, but, so let's say this car pulls up on me, and they pull up, and they, they hop out with guns. I'm going to shoot them. I, I feel like my life is in danger because if I don't shoot first, they might shoot me. And I've seen how this goes. It's, it's, it's a life for a life. It's an eye for an eye, like Gandhi said. And my homies done been dead out here. They shot somebody that shot back at him. Shot him in his stomach. No, shot him in the head. And he shot him, the other dude in the stomach. But they both died. And for what? For, for some petty ass 200 bucks. Petty ass 250 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Petty like that. Was it worth two lives? $125 a life. Basically, if you add the statistics uh, equally. So, what I'm trying to explain to y'all is, when you're a self-defender, give it your all. But make sure that you have your laws known if you do have a firearm. Especially if it's not in your name. I know, like, I got caught with a pistol not in my name. The officer that, that I got caught, um, he told me that I could use that pistol even if it was not in my name as a self-defense tool. Because... Of the fact, you know, how they've been trying to set me up and rob me and all that stuff. You know, I got to watch my back. And so it was very understandable that I had a pistol. At my age, I'm not allowed to have a pistol. But he told me I'm allowed to have a rifle. So guess what? Y'all already know the deal. Honestly, 
I just want everybody to be safe. And that's why I'm making this video. It's nothing like I'm an expert at being safe because I have to learn some lessons myself, you know. And as I learn those lessons, I'll be here to teach y'all those lessons. And hopefully y'all could take my word for it instead of y'all having to go through the same experience that I went through. Because what I went through is hell. And I've seen so much shit that I still have nightmares to this day about it. It's not too much I could talk about because a lot of it is true. But like what I can say is, you know, just to be careful out there and be safe because these streets is no joke. And the, the moment you think it's a joke, that's when you wake up and snap back to reality. And you realize that these streets is no joke and you start understanding what's really going on in the streets. But it's what you can't see with the naked eye. You really have to go through the experiences that I went through or that a lot of people like y'all went through. Um, to understand where I'm coming from and a lot of people that know what's going on They know where I'm coming from. They know why I'm making this video. They know why I'm helping people, you know Also, why not I get paid for this so I love to do this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna be back on my uploading grimy stuff. Y'all already know what's up, man um, Just stay tuned stay litty all that good stuff, you know I, I don't know I just want everybody to be safe I'm tired of hearing this, I'm tired of hearing that, and it's like, bro, you already know what's up, you already knew, like, why would you, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, basically, all I gotta say is what the, you know what I'm saying, like, phew. just be careful, all my thug soldiers out there, man, all my thug soldiers, soldiers, how does that song go, just praying God make a way, Ah, oh, I forgot that song. Project Youngin, there you go. What's it? Project Youngin, Thug Soldiers, man. Y'all go check that out. That shit's lit. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just here making these videos, man. Um, y'all just stay safe out there. Follow some little steps I said today, and I know I made kind of video like this already, how to be safe in the streets, but I didn't really explain to y'all how to be safe in the streets. All I did was explain to y'all how I be safe, in, how I'm safe in the streets, but honestly, I'm not even safe in the streets. When I go to a red light, I'm still ducking. I'm still, you know, worried that someone's going to mark me, and guess what? I'm not beefing with nobody. I don't have beef with nobody. They beefing with me because I'm getting money. And they beefing with me because they see I'm next up. That's the scariest part about it all is when you don't beef with nobody but they beefing with you. So you don't even know what to expect sometimes. And it's like I can't even go somewhere in public because I feel like somebody's going to try to opt me or somebody's going to try to do something that's going to get them dropped. Scary feeling because it's like it's hard, you know, I don't got time to be fighting people out here I got a whole career ahead of me. I don't got time to be messing with these people out here I don't got time to beef all I got time for is my family and what I'm doing, you know as far as my career and shit Make sure we're still recording, man. All right, we got 18. We got like 20 seconds left or whatever. So make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, hit that notification bell so y'all won't miss an upload. Go check out the music from a couple days ago. Y'all get to see his two audios that dropped. Uh, go drop a like, fuck with them, share them, do all the things that y'all do best, man. Um, and thank y'all for everything. I can't thank y'all enough, you know. Um, it's a blessing. It really is. So I just thank y'all for